Today I am not at DC Pianos or Kim's Pianos, and I'm not even on the West Coast for today's video. I'm on the East Coast of the United States, the entire opposite end of the country, at Rogers Pianos in Burlington, Massachusetts, with a really, really special piano. This is a C. Beckstein from the early 1900s, more than likely, judging by the aesthetic and the beautiful quality of the case. There's a couple of ways that we can most certainly tell that this piano is an antique, and we will talk about those later on in the video, but this piano does not play like an antique antique, nor does it have any of the downsides that antique pianos sometimes can have. Sometimes a acoustic piano that is over 100 years old can have an old kind of a sound to it, and this can be remedied, and if you're lucky, an old piano will age very well and will age like a fine wine and continue to get better with age, but that doesn't always happen, and sometimes an old piano can age poorly. However, this instrument has been pretty much entirely restored, and everything is basically brand new, or at least pretty new. It's definitely not 100 years old. The strings were certainly replaced at some point. It wasn't yesterday. They do kind of have a slightly aged look to them, but they don't sound or look like they're over 100 years old. And there's no way you could replace the soundboard in a piano that I know of without taking the strings and the harp off of it. So the strings have certainly been replaced at some point. I believe that the piano uh, had a new pin block and a soundboard put in in 2004, so that's probably the era of the strings. And then the piano was refinished, I think, also at that time, and the action was completely revamped in 2011 to to 2012. So basically what we have here is the case and the cabinet and the fine craftsmanship of a hundred years old C. Beckstein with the performance of a newer piano, and it's a delight to play. The action is light and responsive, the tone is remarkably clear, it's like glass, and I say that all the time, but I don't think it's ever been truer with a piano than this one. It feels like crystal, or it sounds like crystal, I should say. So let's play a piece that you all seem to be taking very well, I'm really glad you all are enjoying this piece, The Cavatine by Edward Shoot, and I will play it on this beautiful C. Beckstein and let you guys enjoy that piece. <laughs> Thank you. 
Although this piano has many new components, it does not play exactly like a new C. Beckstein would, and it certainly sounds a lot different from a new C. Beckstein. Although it has that new soundboard, you can definitely tell some differences in sound. I think especially in the mid-range to the bass is where it really sounds a lot different from a new C. Beckstein. I believe a new C. Beckstein, I've played quite a few of them, or not quite a few, but certainly a few, would have a much more deep, rich, sonorous sound in this low bass, but that's not necessarily a negative to this piano. You can heard that last note, that last chord on that cavity sounded really, really pretty, and although this doesn't have the rich fatness of a new C. Beckstein, the low end and the bass of this piano is still quite, re quite respectable for a piano that is over 100 years old. Pianos have continually improved over time, and that is one way that pianos have improved over time, is the quality and the sound of the low bass. But simple chords like that, have more of a subtle, nuanced richness to them that I think sounds very nice. Another thing you would expect from a C. Beckstein, both new and old, would be a lovely, bright, sparkly treble. And that is what you get on this C. Beckstein as well. Check it out. I'm going to play some Scarlatti K380. It's not really a treble piece, but it does use some elements of the treble. And it's just a bright, joyous piece that I think matches the tone of this piano really well. The action of this piano is light and delicate, and the treble, as you can hear, is beautiful, crystalline, clear, cold, and really, really lovely. Let's listen to the resonance of the piano for a little bit. That's really nice. And now, for the final piece, let's play my treble test piece on this beautiful old C. Beckstein.
two dead giveaways with this piano that allow you to tell that this piano is very old and it is not a reproduction see Beckstein. And one of those is right down here. This piano only has two pedals. Back in the day, that was the standard for pianos, only two pedals. But today, if C. Beckstein were to make a piano that on the exterior looks just like this, it would most certainly have three pedals today. The other way you can tell is looking at the inside of the harp. Although some piano companies will do a reproduction style harp with these little nubs around the portholes, that's the name for these holes in the harp, oftentimes this is a surefire way to tell when a piano is old. You can also sometimes look at the quality of the harp work as well. Sometimes with new pianos, not necessarily C. Beckstein's, but others that I've seen, you will find that the, um, the quality of the decorations on the harp is a bit lower of in detail and in quality compared to what you would see here on a genuine antique piano. That's another way you can tell is by looking at the aesthetics as well as the number of pedals, sometimes, not always, but sometimes, how old a piano is. And the final thing is the giant C. Beckstein logo in the middle of the soundboard. I haven't seen a logo like this on a new piano that I can remember. I know Yamaha still uses a rather large badge in the center of their soundboard, but something this large with that much text probably wouldn't be found on a new C. Beckstein, even a reproduction model. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video of a really cool piano at a pretty neat piano store here in Burlington, Massachusetts. If you did enjoy this video of the C. Beckstein, you might want to go check out some of my other videos that I've done of new C. Becksteins. They're quite a different beast and they are all magnificent pianos, both this and the new pianos, but in kind of different reasons, for different reasons. So if you enjoyed this C. Beckstein, go check out some of my other videos I've done on C. Beckstein. And if you're new to the channel, maybe check out some other stuff too and think about subscribing. If you do subscribe, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.